Crawl. When I see you, to sweep. Stay in your purgatory. <laughs> no, I put you back. <laughs> hey, I got a. <laughs> I was doing a bit of a brain. Oh, you can't really see. I was doing a bit of a brainstorm for the for what we're gonna do. And you know what this will remind you of. <laughs> <laughs> Design specs one user interface. <laughs> I was waiting for the download of you know Baz website. Where I exactly. <laughs> I have so I, many of those. I just kind of you. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm gonna grab my computer. So I have my iPad for Zoom, and then I have my computer as a note-taking device. Okay. Um, so we can get some solid work done today. I'm gonna be back in a second. Okay. To give context to anyone, uh, Ryan and I are going to start a design specs conversation for the Inflow Matrix, of which this is the primary reference point for. And uh, we've known each other 13 years, and we this this conversation has come up a, a number of times in terms of the need for it. But this is the first time actually doing it, so it's pretty pretty cool. So what I'm thinking is maybe it would be good potentially as well to put all of your like all your maps on a mirror board and it just mean you to share it um, as a good reference point. I don't know if that would help in terms of like how we because it's kind of like a fluid like interface where yes, way. you know, I just can't think of a better way to do it where like the cards, the combo types, you know, put them in frames, combo types, one frame values, another frame. You know, each one of those frames can be like the sets. And so one is like the language abstractions. On the top level, it's just like the geometries. Those nine maps, you have the one, the two, the three, the four, kind of that, like that level. Um, and then we kind of create a legend being like, you know, use Miro almost to create a legend of the system and its interfaces. What, what do you think? Um, I guess. Starting point, like what's a starting point? Right, <laughs> I know. Um... <laughs> I am. I think I'm at what am I? One, two, three, four. I'm at my fifth meeting today. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm at my seventh meeting today. I literally like it's been back to back. I had like I had to eat while I was on a meeting today. <laughs> it's freaking insane, man. I know. Like, by the end of the day, you're just kind of this, <laughs> the dream is coming true, and it's become a nightmare. You know. Right. I mean, each yeah. meeting is amazing, and each person is amazing, but it's, uh, I guess it's just that balance of not, I, I, the reason I was a bit late, I, I just thought I'd have a bit of a nap, and then I, I kind of woke up and realized, oh, right. Um, okay. I'm thinking, yeah, I get, I guess, I'm just, I'm, I'm wondering if that's something that I could kind of do on my own, and it would Maybe. take me sort of doing all that kind of stuff to do, so I'm okay. just, I'm just wondering if, um, that's some uh, takeaway I could do for homework, and I'm just wondering if there's something okay. that we could brainstorm, or just some something right. where. Um, I really wish I had that document for you. I have this old folder we had called the Inflow Matrix. Um, uh, there's combo maps with categories. I have those. You probably already have all these, though. Um, you know, I think the I combo have... map with the categories. Is that the ones where there's eight of the combo types in a certain around the thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. those. I think do I have them because I need to re redo those. Um, but what I think I remember, like, was it the birth of the inflammation? I remember I tried once to actually write about it. Yes, I wish you had that because that one is fucking the best document. I think I have it, and I think it irritated me because it sort of the word got the formatting wrong, so it kind of screwed up, but. That was my only attempt at trying to try and actually write about it. That was a really good start, man. I've been trying to look for that and I couldn't find it. Was it the birth of the info matrix? Was that? Because um, did you have the short stories? I had like my short stories. Yeah, was, you had your stories. You had the whole thing. It was such a good start, man. Like you really broke so down the. Work. 
it, it was a lot of work that went into there. Okay. Like, let me let me check Google Drive right now because um, I I think I may have it. And, um, but I have been, you know, I know over time you you've asked me to sort of collate and put everything together, and I I have been doing that. Yeah. Cool. Um, that's been a big missing thing i just again it's just there's so many freaking things yeah and you know it, it's you know you're right it's all a lot of it's about the help right we all you know we all need to bring different help to each other and i have a specific gift i gotta bring and just help you um because it just needs to happen <laughs> that's it 13 years hey i know should we do that thing do you know what i found i found a uh a video of you talking about the global values project and the inflow matrix oh my god it's funny i talked about that a week ago did you you and know I because someone was like we need a global values project and it hit me i'm like that was the first thing that was the first map i ever made the first one i had a big roll of paper i remember being in tofino with my little my family and i was like 21 and i was like going nuts with the circles and the values and the whole thing looking at the global values project um <laughs> I remember being a bit irritated because I'm going, we need a global values. Of course there's a global <laughs> values project. <laughs> like, that was the beginning of our irritation. <laughs> what, it's, it's like, what do you think this is? <laughs> the start. We'll get everyone in the world to That's do a values. Elijah lays out the system and I'm like, I have an idea. <laughs> That's going to be like a good tone for the whole show. It's like you say something, you lay it out, and then I'm like, hmm. Then it cuts back to me being like, guys, I've got this idea. <laughs> and and I'm speaking to you, and you're speaking to the world. Out of his ears. <laughs> oh, man. No, but you know, I, I mean, we all get our little revenges, right? And so in the very secret plan, there's you. And the first video is you talking about the inflow matrix and the values project. <laughs> <laughs> and then cut <laughs> eight years later. <laughs> exactly. Let's do a global values project. Oh, wait, I'm looking for something. Oh. Inflow matrix operating system. Okay, let's share this doc with you. Um, is your Google Drive for Nexius at Zoho, or is it Elijah Ignatiev at Gino? Ele uh, Elijah Ignatiev. Okay, I'm gonna invite the Nexius anyways, just so you have it in that email. Okay. That's all. And you know you can also forward your Nexi list at Zoho to Gmail, by the way, so you can have all of your things in one, in case you ever wanna do that. <laughs> well, I <laughs> I think uh, Elijah, that's my cover that I never use. Mm -hmm. My next year list is kind of like my the one I use. All right. I recently cleaned up my drive and I basically put everything in a two organized file and then kind of started over. <laughs> oh man, it's so important to do that. I'm, I'm due for a day. Why? It, it takes a long time. It takes longer than you think to organize files. It takes weeks. You know, I, you know, fuck, I remember sitting on a plane once and like, I'm going to get there on this plane ride, like four hours in, I'd done like 5% of it. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, where you know what I do you know who I really envy right now? Is um Samir. Why? Because he's got one product. You know, he's just got his stuff he's doing. Mm -hmm. And you know, he's and he's doing each step in the right way, and he's doing it, you know, right. Like just imagine if you were just working on one thing. Oh man, I would be so successful. Wouldn't you? Yeah. 
Like if one of if if each of us just took one of our things and did that and nothing else, it's like digging a a a, a, a deep well. You know, you dig 50, 40 wells at 40 feet or you dig one well at 1600. It's so true. And I, I guess um, where I've been orienting is um, I feel like the well that I want to dig is not like a product. It's not like a thing. I thought it was Veeam and I'm like, fuck Veeam, it's not the well I want to dig. You know, I'm like, Ayana, Ayana's great. I actually really enjoy digging that well just because it's, you know, s sustains my whole family and it provides good water to people and it brings good context. So I'm still digging that. But that's not the well I want to like dig deep, 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 you know, like, you know, unify. I tried it. I'm like, okay, I want to dig that well. But you know what? It's not really my baby. And it's like, I have heart that I'm giving to it, but it's not really my well. Like, and so, you know, I feel like me and you carry um, really high aspirations for the planet. We do, you know, like our aspirations are helping usher in the new paradigm, not to build a fucking yoga card deck, even though I respect it. It's different. Mm -hmm. Our aspirations are different. And, you know, his aspirations are different, you know, and, you know, we're going for something. We're going for something that's fucking audacious and it seems completely unrealistic. And like, mm, you know, it's impossible. yeah, it's literally, it's impossible. And it can only happen with spirit, spirit and coming through and the guidance of God is the only thing that can allow it to happen, not us. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think now that I've hit unanimous, now that I've hit manifesto, now that I've hit these, I've hit things and I'm like, oh, this could contain everything. And like you're always saying, right? Like, what is the thing that you're going to give us a reference point to everything else? Mm. Everything else has to self-organize under that. I'm starting to find that only now. Only now am I even starting to touch that. And the reason why I probably haven't been able to work in the inflow in the same way is because it's been like, oh, yeah, inflow I can use for Beam. But like, it's not the same. It's like, you know, it's like the inflow has to be used to birth the new paradigm, not to birth the fucking tech company. Like tech company birthing of it will only give a fragment. So I, I yeah, a fragment. But, but the thing is, the the inflow needs content to give it its form and beam what like every organization at some point that uses it is going to develop it further. And so Veeam being the info tech company, Veeam being what it was, like I, I think again, 20 tech companies are going to use the inflow, and then all of that will be the inflow. Yeah, but in the form the inflow was in at that time, it wasn't, again, the coherency of that. And the reason why I think I'm seeing it differently right now is because when I look at unanimous, right, you're looking at a whole system map of what has to change. I'm now looking at all the wheels. I'm looking at the New Earth Manifesto. I'm looking from a different vantage point. And that vantage point really requires those multiple levels. It requires, what I'm doing requires the whole system now. Yeah. Out of which the beams will come out of which the, you know, but I always went at it through the, you know, a lens or add it through a wheel or add it through a, you know, a point yeah. in the thing and then got confused where I hit the wall of it because it was out of sync. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're right. And I think that the, I think you're right. I mean, in terms of the large enough contain, I mean, unanimous kind of says it, right? <laughs> it <kind of> does. <laughs> and I think, you know, for both of us and for all of us, I think when, if we're passionate and committed about something and we're left out of the decision making, we, we feel like we're not part of something, at least, at least for me, right? I don't want to be the head decision maker, but I want to be able to make certain decisions that are part of the group decisions just mm -hmm. to make sure it doesn't go off course kind of in a sense. And I think when people all go to something and unanimously, it, it just, you have buy-in from the group. And that's what the First Nations used to do, right? They would go into the lodge and discuss something until it was unanimous. And so, and so maybe maybe that's something we got to take into account in terms of what you're looking at for the manifesto in terms of like, how do mm. we bring in this global conversation to get everybody on board who feels like they're part of it? And so mm. maybe having, you know, again, like those Zooms that could break out into those 20 groups of four, I don't know what the limit is, mm -hmm. but if we could have, let's say, those presentations and you have the initial people doing it, but then you bring in everybody and everyone gets to have their little chance and then all the Zooms go up everywhere and everyone feels as if they're part of it. Well, I think it goes back to as well with that, that knowledge map that you did, right? Which is like the knowledge, you know, I, I would, those card sets that you had about what was knowledge harvesting, what was this? And like the mm -hmm. knowledge, those knowledge cards, I think I want to I look at those again because mm -hmm. there was a key in there because I feel like the prob part of the problem is, is that we don't know how to harvest the gems. So remember when I was telling you about that app of using Caravan that was like Forum, where it was yeah. just 
hey, what is the best solution to X? Everybody kind of starts talking about it, responding, and then people can give gems and they move to the top and it automatically harvests the best collective output and that then lives somewhere that is already kind of aggregated as a collective seed that then pops up and then that there's a hierarchy to the conversation because the Zoom, two hours, nobody watches it or, you know, like it just is too much knowledge that is not accessible. So unless we harvest in a way and unless we crowdsource that harvesting, A, the person who's harvesting, you know, usually is like has a bias. And so the, you know, crowdsourcing the harvesting is like a, another way to get collective buy-in without having to have everyone talk. Right. Right. Or, you know? or Akemi has to do it all, I guess. Exactly. Or Akemi has to do it all. We love you, Akemi. 18 pages. <laughs> God. I mean, she's good at it. It's part of her bliss, but she can only, everyone only has so much capacity. Well, yeah, and I mean, you know, she, like everyone, has her own, I think, strong vision that needs the same platform everyone else has, rather than just taking, you know, everyone else's stuff down, so. Mm -hmm. um, okay, that said. So, let, let's do this for a second, all right? Um, uh, okay, cool. I haven't been fun. So, um, what is the look at the different levels of outcomes for the inflow matrix like beyond like building the new paradigm we, we get that right like what is what are the what is the actual practical ways that you see people using this this tool and for what because that really helps the design specs right i think i think i had a document called the shared knowledge community goals that probably that probably um it's funny because you know that both of us can sort of download a lot of info at once unless we're just whether I don't know about you, but I get to a point of I'm too tired or I'm too <laughs> Yeah, I hear you man. And then I'm I'm not in a in the right frame of mind. So the yeah. elements that the inflow has, right? It has the Enneagram, it has sacred geometry, okay. it has color coding, it has the language layer. It has values. It, uh, what else does it have? Like, you know, let's just look at like bare bones. Okay, so yeah, because you were listening to that this morning. Okay, the the so it's the the structure, the structure, which is linked to the number, which is linked to color, which is linked. I mean, when I when I when I started looking at the maps, because I've started to bring them together, and there, you know, again, there's way too many. I mean, this. It's the main reference point becomes, you know, what time cycle the maps are at. Mm -hmm. So it's it's like it goes back down to the this thing here, the time translator. Yeah. Our little friend here. Yeah. Um, that like the year maps are different from the the hour maps, and and it just comes down to the time structures. Okay. So I have that here. Um, time structures. So I would say uh, structure. Link to number, link to color, link to time cycle. Yeah. Is that a good start? Yeah, because then on top of that, then comes language. And then on the language, you could then go into the, um, I guess, the values, combo types, and conceptual lenses. Yeah. And then the conceptual lenses um, build the inflow, which then, well, then the language and then the tools of the new paradigm toolkit, the maps, game boards, card sets, processes, and software are made from that, you know, that language level. level. Maybe that's a good way of doing it, right? So the language level is broken down into the tools of the new paradigm toolkit. And then that is broken down into the maps, card sets. Processes okay. and software. Okay. And I think that, you know, for the, you know, there's so many pieces, let's say missing. And I think what you're doing is your, your, picking up the pieces that are missing and you kind of play with it for a while 
but you're like me, you play it for a while until you kind of get it. And then it's, eh, the rest is details. And then you're going on mm -hmm. to the next thing. Mm -hmm. And, but you're, you know, cause I think we're, you know, we're in a larger field together and there's, and there's others out there and this idea is coming through us all. Mm -hmm. And, and, you know, we're, we can't kind of do anything, but until this thing is going to be birthed and, you know, I, I think there might be 144 of us, but you know, maybe there's 20, maybe there's, it's just funny. I just got off a call with Lori, and she's part of this this uh, this group called La Ciel. You should check them out. L A La Ciel. They bring together 144 people in groups of 12. Okay. <laughs> Those are the people I talked to this morning. That's the people you talked to this morning. Yeah, I pitched them on the uh, on the inflow with Dermen. It's so funny. I just talked to someone who was there working with them, and who just told me about them today on my my last call before that. Okay. Yeah. No. It looks like they're in, man. Yeah, I bet they're in. Fuck. I was like, um, I told Lori up too. I'm like, um, well, I have someone to connect them to. <laughs> yeah. We have 144 people. We don't exactly. know what to do with them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Can I show you a map? Mm -hmm. So, because you know, the inflow is really just about the. It's about the framing of the context, right? Yeah. What you actually do is what you actually do. I mean, you have to do shit, right? <laughs> like people have to do stuff, and so I think. What I see is the inflow now is it organizes kind of the top level. You know, the top level are, you know, organizing meetings and combo types. So I think maps. So we got to look at maps, right? We got to look at game boards. We got to look at processes. Software comes out of these, I would say. Yeah. Right? Well, it's kind um, of like the card sets go on the game boards that create the maps. And those are used in the processes. And eventually the software connects it all together. Like the software is just the infotech side of it. Yeah. Because one of the main aims, and this was maybe you want to put it at the beginning, and may, maybe I should start to download some of the main main assumptions, maybe. Please, yeah. I'm writing this down. Okay. okay. So one of the main assumptions was the inflow matrix works offline and online. Assuming that if it can work offline and, and it works with the maps as they are. Then once they're transferred into digital, that they'll work. Because we're trying to actually find something that's simple. So I think that the, those those four maps with the cycles of events, with actions and conversations, like that's as simple as it gets to me, in terms of human endeavors. So four maps. What which four maps? Remember the four that you were the promoter and Maya was the builder, Kemi was the organizer, and I was the designer. Those those four maps that um, I don't want to show you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me bring it up on, on the share. It's interesting, like I just got, I got the computer right, so I'm starting everything from the beginning. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's- Oh, well, you got the computer, nice. The computer. Fuck yeah, bro. And Congrats. I got the video Corel for the first time. I can actually do some editing. So I'm now tied to this computer for the rest of my life for fixed sakes, but. Exactly. Okay, here you go. But what a difference. Holy cow. Okay, can you see this one? Yeah. So each one of us had these four, but the cycles of events, actions and conversations, there's individual actions, team actions, community actions, past events, present event, future event, conversation, phone conversation, face-to-face -face and, and online. Now these are very, that's about as basic as you can get, right? In my opinion. And these are, you know, they exist, can't, can't argue it. And then we go to cycles and I have reward as a choice lens where again, this is getting more into the arbitrary, 
but then looking at the uh, c customer member and ally rewards and sort of going that you know that these these four are basically dictating everything whether you know it or not you know right, let me just let me just write this down okay so um so i mean you could say okay the the basis the the simplest languaging for human endeavors could be caught in the sentence that we go through cycles of events where actions and conversations take place nice That's so really i actually i i put this as my computer screen and mm -hmm. i think another maybe assumption or primary thing of, of we want to own the the primary computer screen when you first turn on your computer you get through your 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 input you have that screen right and and there's just programs and file folders on that front page and that to me is the most unorganized place and the place that needs the best organization because that's your prime that's your first interface really right so well, also now the desktop of the cloud because you know something you know, this Chromebooks now I mean like 90% of people's files are storing in the cloud now right so really um yeah so here I'm going to show you something actually um you know let me let me hop on my zoom on my computer for a second here actually okay. because I want to share a screen with you I'll be right back I'll be right back in here okay <laughs> I think when our ego gets stroked in all the ways it needs at some point it kind of runs a little bit thin <laughs> all, all right. like we're all chasing something but at some point when you realize eh, there's nothing really to chase man i mean <laughs> not man like what do you yeah, i remember once you told me you're like i don't need a lot and i just need a fucking nice room like good people mocha some joint some snacks and i'm like sitting here i'm like dude like that's really all i need 95 <laughs> percent of the time <laughs> i don't need much more the rest of the time i'm working anyway like, what the fuck right so it's like no because you, you've reached that point of satisfying you know you reach certain dreams or you're reaching the point of your own place and then you kind of look at things different like we're always striving to get something yeah. once you get it life is different because you realize yeah. that didn't give it to me you know definitely i just think the next thing for me really is you know besides what we're doing here and you know building the next paradigm for the world is uh is really building more of a village template like i want to live in a better community template model you know like i want to live in sustainable self-sustainable resilient community with you know people that i love and you know um just kind of tired of this whole everybody disconnected from each other in the grid and living in separate houses and not having I want to be able to have a shared kitchen. I want to be able to just walk outside my house and go be in the garden and be with people. And, you know, I get to do my work. It just feels like it's the life I'm, I'm craving. Um, I'm, I started it here on Salt Spring and I love this place. And now it's like in the next year or two, it's really about the next level of that embodiment. That's the only thing I feel like my soul is like craving to move towards. I, I agree. I, I see yurts in the forest. Me too, man. Like, like I swear to you, like just we get a big pile of land, yurts in the forest, have a major thing in the middle, and build like and have high tech, like great great style studio, all the the oh, yeah. other buildings. One of them, full communication room, full communication yurt, right? Yurts are not that expensive actually when you look no. at it, and you can pop them up, and you can build each one to be its own function. It's essentially, yeah. each one has a function: healing yeah. yurt, communications yurt, you know, work yurt, yoga yurt, you know making love intimacy or you know whatever you know like have your get... line of <laughs> <laughs> windows chairs <laughs> one of the yurts is overused <laughs> well, that'd be a good thing let it be overused yeah oh yeah i mean ever since i've been in the forest it's it's you have no idea how much better it is like the feeling the breath the oxygen the, the... yeah these, these computers really are traps. Yeah. It, yeah, they are. And, you know, I'm trying to see them as like my, I've, I've, I've been shifting my perspective on my computer, um, trying to get more time and just go out for walks, but also like being like, you know, this is my, like, there's a light working that's happening here. This is a sacred fire. My computer is a sacred fire. And each stroke on the keyboard is me programming my, my intentions into the sacred fire. And if I'm coming in a good way, and I'm putting my good intentions, it's like me being around a collective fire, 
that I'm serving the upliftment of. And like, whenever I come back into that view, I can like, I can sit here and I can work, you know, and not like have such a push pull with it. And I'm like, it's not about me. This is about what's needed for the fire. And um, so that's been my world view shift on that. Okay, well, hopefully your computer won't burst into flames as a result of your strong intention. <laughs> uh, what? All right, I'm gonna show you this. That's why I shifted <laughs> computers here. Host disabled screen share. Can you make me a host? Okay. Um, all right. Okay, so this is Miro here, right? Now, Miro started in a really simple way by just making an open board, right? You could put your sticky notes on it, right? You could put your shapes, you could put your stuff, you could drag and drop. Like, pretty much they did fluid and they did it well. Now, though, what they're doing is really cool is that you can actually integrate things. So they have maps, it's an apps, which are basically maps. So tables and charts, stickies capture, card, Kanban, mind map, wireframe library, grid, da, 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 like all these different things. And you go to add more apps, and then you can browse through their list of integrations, okay? Some of them they develop, some of them other people develop. So what are their functions? Task automation, customer relationships, forms and surveys, meetings and workshops, like these guys have built the fuck, voting plugins, video chat, user story maps, like, Prezi, like wow. every software out there has an API and their team has now, all their team is doing is linking and hooking into their API and connecting it to Miro. Hooking into their API, connecting it to Miro. Um, what, you know, what about, because the, the other one, I, I jumped into that other one and I got irritated very quickly. Um, what was that other one, the Notion? Yeah. Notion is project management. This is more like the board of all the things. This is like Slack, but instead of Slack integrating with everything, which it does, Slack is like, Slack is the chat room, which has API integrations into everything. This is the open board, the open canvas that has integration. So now I'm like, you know what? I just want to create a, drag my Google Drive and you know, drag it into Miro. I can drag my drive folders in my drag files. I want to do a Kanban board. Let me drag the Kanban board into there and it'll set up a, a project management board. And um, so the reason I'm showing you this is because in my mind, when I see the inflow and I see the maps and the game boards, I'm essentially seeing the a top level organizational mapping system, but each wheel or each connection point moves into a different app that's already out there because there's already an ecosystem <clears throat> of apps and apps and people doing a way better job than we could ever could in the particular function that they've dedicated their lives to. There's a thousand screwdrivers out there, right? Right. Um, and so one toolbox, <laughs> exactly. And so Miro has become a really good toolbox. Slack has become a really good toolbox, right? Um, for their particular thing and their particular function. Now, the only thing about Miro is it's just a board of everything everywhere. Right. And so that functions as a, that there's a, there's a good function for that, but the inflow has a very different function. Yet the integratability and the growth plan of where I see is where the API integrations are able to happen. Mm. Right? I see the inflow where instead of this just being an open board, I'm seeing the maps. I'm seeing you be able to toggle through different maps. I'm seeing the different maps you're able to pull. You're able to look at the legends of color coding. You're able to create, say, you know, you pull open the one hour meeting map. Great. You pull that open, you know, connect it connect it, link it to that project, you link it to that project, link it to people, now it's linked to that particular thing. Now, that one hour thing and the combo types, each one of those squares are linked to project management deliverables. Now that links maybe to your Asana, we don't need to create that, that links to your Notion or you know, fucking whatever the project management system you're using, let it link to it, right? right? Um, and um, you know, the chat rooms, rather than building your own chat room, let it link into Slack, let it link into all of these things that are there, that are chat rooms. Where like, that I, is, so that's, I mean, the thing about the chat rooms as they are now is, is again, when you get to design kind of what you want, you can, you, you can, it's certain things that I really want that don't exist in these other things. Like what? Well, <laughs> like, <laughs> well, uh, uh, <laughs> well, the combination of scoring points in community, you know, in that the model of the spaces, the, the setting a goal, 
having the seven steps that I want and having the ability to make the condo types and the spells that I want. You know, I mean, all those things are specific to the tools that I have. Mm -hmm. So, and then okay. pressing a button and making a, a chat room that has those things programmed into it that are then, you know, again, linked to this larger system of chat. So, I mean, I, maybe you can create that with the other yeah. stuff. But you know, I maybe the chat room is the part that's custom built then. I, I'm not attached to that. Yeah. I, you know, I'm not telling you what it should or shouldn't be, but you know, look at the parts that you really want to custom build and make sure you really want to do it. And then look at all the parts that are integrations and look For at where sure. you, it's going to be a really important thing. Well, oh, okay. Well, let's go back maybe to the design specs. Sure. And, and go to, yeah. well, let's do that. I just wanted to show you this. So we have an understanding of, you know, how I'm looking at API integrations for okay. people, and how it becomes the place where all of the other tools meet as well. Let me just, I, I, something that hit me here, I gotta grab it. I mean, there's a, you know, I've got three notebooks of maps that you haven't seen. Uh, I think one of them was an info matrix top level map. Oh, you know what? Oh man, I got a beauty of, uh, I know what's missing. I got a beauty of all the, you know, communities, a team, team, a community, individual, a community. Like if you look at the four spaces, like sometimes you want to talk to the whole community. Sometimes you want a team talking to the whole community. Sometimes a community is talking to the individual. Sometimes the community is talking to the team. Sometimes the team's talking to the teams, right? There's, I think, 17 interfaces between the different parts talking to the different parts. And I think that's another big thing missing from these communication programs is that, uh, like, if a team is talking to a team, it's very different than if it's an internal team discussion or if the team is talking to the public or if the community is talking to the public. Right, and I have that, of course, mapped out. The thing is a team never talks to another team. An individual from one team talks to an individual from another team. So I know, it, but, but- I'm it, not it, saying you're wrong, I'm just-, just Right, but I'm just saying that if there's a, if I'm, if I'm like, let's say we're on an inflow matrix product team and, and we're yeah. talking to an app, I may be an individual talking to that app company, but I'm speaking from the point of view of the team. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so if that's taken into account in the, in the layering, the structuring of it, you can see <laughs> whenever someone's going like this, you know, maybe you should just take a break. <laughs> I think it's good just chatting with you, man. Yeah, you too, man. You know, it's it's like no one knows our pain. <laughs> no one can understand the degree of the complexity we got to deal with here. I think I think you're right in terms of <clears throat> the what you just showed me i think i should play with that before our next discussion mm -hmm. and kind of look at how i'd set it up and then bring you in and then i think that's the reference point i think you're right i think it is i think because i see it like i would almost make a mock-up of it being like okay here are the maps here's the structure here's the time here are the cycles here's the you know color here's the frequency you know here's the numbers and here are the meanings like, you know, it's like, it's like, I see binary, like you the binary code goes into, you know, the first implementation, then it goes into C++, then it goes into this. And now you have Java, which does one line of code. And it seems like something appears on your screen, but it's actually now four hierarchies of things that are happening in computing language so that that one thing can happen. I see the same thing kind of like the inflow where there's like the color, the number, there's like, there's like binaries layers, right? That everything, in, you know, structures with that. Okay. So those binary layers, they all have they all have protocols that each one of them have to follow. And with those protocols then defined and laid out, now you have the fleshings out of how a code base or an OS will start to work. 
right? Now the abstractions, the layers, the maps, the game boards, or anything on top of that always reference those protocols every time. And if those protocols are unique and they're structured to nature, which is really, I think, the unique part of this, then they should never break. Hello? <laughs> Get <laughs> I've got it. I've got the mat. It really is this one. Hey, do you know it's a cool you ever see this one? This is a cool one. Remember those little chocolate things you get at Christmas time? You open up a door and you get like a chocolate? Yeah. This thing. For mine. Oh, I love that, yeah. Where you have this and you open up and you got your nice little. Did I tell you that uh, Lori Renton in, in Yorkton basically has this big building and she's invited me out there and she says I can sort of build the community communication center there. Oh, she's cool. got this massive 60 by 30 room, another 30 by 20 room, another little office downstairs has two 20 by 40 foot rooms mm -hmm. and then a suite underneath. The problem is it's Yorkton. Mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> Not that many trees, yeah. <laughs> no ocean. <laughs> And I don't know anybody in it. Okay. Uh, I do have, I guess as you're speaking, I'm sort of getting getting the mask, but you're right. How about this? Since I think we're both a little, I think you on your own can write quite a lot without me kind of interfering with things. And I think if I, if I do the thing on Miro as a next step, and then maybe if you start writing a bit. Yeah, for sure. Because uh, you, you, I mean, you know most of this stuff. Um, oh, man, looking at something I wrote like, fucking four years, five years ago. Inflamatrix mobile app is game boards, card sets, maps. Uh, each is connected to social media components that allow for sharing and connectedness. The key is the Inflamatrix is a graphical user interface which creates an organizational layer for information and thought, which uses geometry, color coding, and cognitive landscaping to achieve its integration and usage. Inflowmatrix is a modular system. Time cycle planning application, relationship map application connected to phone book, field, business, social, intimate, becomes interface menu for contacts, tarot system for business and personal. There you go. It's a good start. Put that in here. I mean, I think we, you know, the pieces are there. Yeah. I thought that for, you know, a long time. Yeah, I feel like the pieces are there. Now it's that, I think once they're in Miro, and once we start sticky noting on top of your maps in Miro, and once we look at the organizing the base layer and making sure that, okay, if this, then that, if this moves here, then this happens. And if nothing breaks as we do, if this and that across a bunch of parameters, and we know now, okay, the time, the cycle, the da da da, and we look at all the permutations and parameters of that, that is the beginning of like a system. It's an OS, right? It's like water. You know, you look at the geometries, everything shifts and the geometries we organize and it doesn't break, it fucking works. Um, and so I think once we program that and spec document that out, that is the base layer of the inflow. Then a map or a game board or an API or an app are just all on top of that. That makes sense that we would do it that way. Well, this may be another um, side of it within the assumptions is that almost every interface is its own product line. Yeah, exactly. And, and you know, what we're looking to do is we're, we're looking essentially to occupy be the main interface of organizing all the info so we're creating like this uh a fully contained operating system that isn't just on the computer it's between computers we're creating the interface system between computers that's why it has to live in the cloud that's why i'm so clear this is not a desktop app um, this is a SaaS app. This is, lives on the cloud because that's where everything is connecting. All the computers are connecting in the cloud. That's what it does. But that's I, why I, you look in Miro and you look at the Kanban system and you look at the integrations. That's you know, all of them are connected. 
I think it's on the cloud, but I think there should also be something on each computer just in case the internet goes down or you, you don't have access to the internet. You should still be able to work your particular thing on, I think. Yeah, I don't think that's a bad idea. I think having a desktop app as well as a, as a cloud app is, is, is fine. It just, I mean, <clears throat> it kind of makes sense that it works on all devices, right? Like, yeah, so there's a foreign phone component. I mean, it's just, that's what's happening these days. So, yeah. How about this? I mean, cause I got another thing at four and I know you're, why don't we just call it a day? All right. This is a good start. A good start. Um, and uh, we got a next step. Cool. And why don't we just do this every week? while we can okay and just done. you know step at a time man yeah let's keep moving this ball forward i feel like this has to get done it really does have to get done um and i want to support making it happen it just needs to happen so because i think i think this actually is the the center point for everything else we're working on right is getting this done getting it built getting some funding mm -hmm. getting enough funding you know to pay everyone who's helping out mm -hmm. and this thing will fly right I agree. I think this is the template we need for the next generation commons. And we just need to put a lot of thought into how this is going to work. Even the new Earth Manifesto and all, all of it is going to require this new OS of how information is organized to create coherency. Now, even Caravan and Beam, they all plug in into parts of this that help, you know, make it, uh, make it make sense. Like when you talked about Beam and combo types before, I was like, oh, it's so fucking awesome. It's such a good, you know, cultural mimetics, you know, uh, collective in, 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 in even caravan, how you're able to have conversations and organize conversations around particular topics and types and harvest the knowledge and then it automatically goes into the right field. Um, so yeah, let's continue to jam on this and, and, uh, and we'll see what first needs to get built for the kind of base layer. And, you know, it'd be really cool to just build the first base layer in OS. Well, I, like I think the things like the, the fractal five, Mm -hmm. You know, again, very basic, but it tells people what they're doing and who they are. Um, the five spaces map, like that's kind of like looking at a five map and then putting a language on it. And then you can start to layer things. So I, I think what you're saying about the form and the color, you know, the basis before language and having the ability, because we talked about that long ago, right? About yeah. the ability to, to kind of take MindJet mm -hmm. and put it into you know, as an interface system, development system. So, I mean, essentially, if we could take um, a mind mapping program, make a set of templates, we could probably build it in MindJet or something like that. I think um, we should build our own thing. I really do. I, I, I just mean as a beginning point to kind of see how they fit in this. But I think Miro is probably going to do the same thing, right? I think Miro is going to, that's why I think Miro is going to do the same thing. Like if we do it, because you can drag and drop a mind map into Miro now. That's what I was showing you. Like they have a mind map, they have a yeah, can, they have a, you know, so you can literally just drag all the functions and we can literally just draw a line from one of the wheels into a function and it becomes a mind map and that. And like, so I want to use that as a cognitive shared space to look at it and you know put sticky notes. We can put sticky notes everywhere across the maps and look at design specs. I can put a drag and drop the Google Doc into it right next to it being like, this is the OS design specs for this. We can use that as a very good cognitive, and that's what it's for. And I, it's the best I've seen by far. Okay. It's like why I fucking designed Flow, just like you, right? The inflow, like 14 years ago, like tearing your hair out as you're trying to do it. And then 15 year, years later, there's actually a thing that can do what you were trying to do 14 years earlier. That's how I feel right now. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Okay, so I gotta go. Great to see you. And uh, are we are we meeting again this week? We don't have anything on the books. I'm okay, good. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm in an interesting space with it all right now. I, 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 we, I, I need time to. We all need time to incubate a bit, you know. Like you, man. And I feel like you. You know, you gave me some good medicine the other day, and you know, the rushing out of the gate before it's always ready. And there's pieces of in that that I'm really sitting with right now. Yes. Uh, I'm just finishing with you. I'll be with you in five minutes. And, um, you know, realizing that, like, fuck, I don't need anybody's permission to do what I'm doing at all. Like, and I shouldn't be asking anyone's permission to do it. You know, feedback is great, but there's also when feedback comes in too early and it kind of takes me off my intuition or takes me off my radar, I'm seeing, like, what you were saying, um, how destroying that can be when you're trying to birth a little seed. And I keep making this mistake of like birthing a seed and while it's still a seed gestating, I'm like, what does everybody think? 
give me all your fucking ideas. I don't give a fuck right now, actually. Like your whole thing of fuck them is, you know, there's, there's validity to that. Like, you know, and I don't think any, yeah, I think the inclusivity is important, but there's a stages of it and at what times it's important. And, you know, like what we're incubating up to the point where it's really ready to share. And I have some learning to do there. It's some real questioning I need to ask myself there. Yeah. I mean, it's, if anything I've seen over the years, you know, it's, it's that the boundary of what's in and what's out and the timing, of letting people in and what process they, they do to get in. Remember, there's always an inner temple and an outer temple, right? Yeah. The high priestesses would be the inner temple protected because, you know, they're such a high frequency. Mm -hmm. They're doing such deep work. Mm -hmm. To bring people from the marketplace in who are chattering in a different way, mm -hmm. just don't go. It doesn't. And I'm like, fuck, I really want to follow my own vision and, you know, uh, be supported in that. Like, I know the New Earth Manifesto needs to happen and I know I need to pull the thought leaders together. I know I need to organize it around the inflow and I know we need to build a new system. Like, I don't fucking need to ask your opinion on that. <laughs> like, I don't. I can ask you how or flushing it, but like the actual fact that it needs to happen, I don't need your opinion on. You and, know, I, like, I, and I think the, you know, people, if someone doesn't have the plan or the answer, they do want someone with the design. Yeah. But you, but you have to come with the design. And, and the same, same with you. Like if you bring people in to brainstorm things too early or they're not prepared for it, it just gets incoherent. It does. And that kind of incoherent screws the whole thing up. Same and then thing. you bring in more people, everyone's incoherent. Now you're arguing about structure. And now you're months down the road, didn't get anywhere. Exactly. And it's, it's another thing off. Yeah. I'd love to have a planning session with you as well. Um, the happy to a paid planning session where we kind of do some more, kind of go back to the, the five map and some organizing. Like, you know, I don't have a lot of, you know, I, I can do a lot myself, but just having you as a mirror to help me structure and organize some of the stuff around my time and, and energy would be really good too. Like help me prioritize. I made this, it's like 52 weeks. Mm -hmm. And it has the bronze goal, silver goals. I think I sent this to you, gold goal. I know, but I can't, I can't, I can't do those things. Here's my problem, Elijah, is that because I operate, you're right, I operate so much in present moment. Every time those things come to me, like I have this right now, like fucking, you know, I got bought this. Like, I know it's not organized like you did, but it's like today's message to myself, top three goals and priorities, tax that absolutely must be done today, things that I need, da, 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 the whole thing time organized by time no i i'm going to give you your i i figured out what it is what you got to yeah. do okay you you don't use this to plan okay you do this to record what happened during the day at the end of the day you look back and go oh i i did a design specs with elijah i'll give that uh 10 points <laughs> I, that's cool so I you're, like that you're not better. setting goals, you're just recording what occurred. So at the end of the day, you can look back and go, this is what I created. Because we're cool. the same way. We can't set the goal and do it. We just do it. Yeah, we just do it. Like just every time it, I've tried that, I'm like, fuck, it doesn't work. But I, I remember that Remember that big 28-day wheel I had and was in Zamir's room? Yeah. And I, I wasn't planning. All I did was put on every event and thing that occurred. And I noticed that at the end of the 28 days, oh, I had this incredible you know map of everything i'd done and i started to feel good about what i'd done rather than each day going oh so it's true not quite enough you know that's how i feel every day um i really miss that one map we had back in the uh that house that one that one you know what i'm talking about which the had the cork map. the cork and the eight map that was the most helpful thing i've ever had for organizing like in my whole life out of everything i've ever had that was the one thing i was like oh this works for me that map that worked for me um, when I, <laughs> <laughs> I do, where, um, where is that map, by the way? It's up in my room. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> can I, can I take that? I paid for that motherfucker. <laughs> I paid for the material. Well, the reason I didn't get, there's a lot of reasons I didn't get it, <laughs> but, but I've been, I've been trying, I was trying to keep the whole system together. I get it. So I had all the pieces in it. What, what would it take me for me to get ask me get you to make me another one of those? What would that take? Well, I would I would need, you know, again I would need the materials, and then it would probably take me a couple of days. Um, I'd love to pay you to do that. Like I really need that. It's a really helpful thing for me. I know you probably don't have a lot of time. You're really busy, but I mean, it isn't even you know even if it takes a month or two, like it doesn't have to be like you working on it for just a few days or well yeah like i, I like building shit like that you know and mm -hmm. it's it's and i know that 
like again, to me, if you're on board with the inflow, like you're on the team and you're freaking working on it, then, you know, my thing has just been, you know, I, 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 I don't want sitting on the fence. I don't want watching from the sidelines. I don't want a little bit. Mm -hmm. I want enough that we can actually do this. And so, yeah, I hear you, man. So, and, and like, I, <laughs> Anyway, I feel like we've reached a new level with each other. It feels good. Yeah. I feel like we can both fucking be honest with each other now about shit. And, you know, it doesn't break our relationship. Because I'm like, fucking, you're like, you know, you can call me out on shit and I can be like, that doesn't fucking make any sense. Or that didn't fucking go down well. Or, you know, like we can be fucking honest with each other. And, you know, may hurt a little bit, definitely hurts me a little bit at times. But, you know, um, there, the, you know, that message you sent me about the, how can we have a real honest relationship and have work, but it never, never affects the foundation of our family and love. And I think that message that you sent me really landed with me because no matter what's happened, I've always looked at you as family. So is Anne, so is Amrita, so is my, so is Shaq. Everybody looks at you like you're a family. Like if I ever had land, you'd always have a home. Like I, I feel that way about you, you're like my family, you know? And so we may have disagreements in how we do things. We may not like the things each other do, does, but you know, there's a core of our, our, our love and, and family and tribe. Well, and I feel the same. And every time I'm out, like, you know, I may pull myself out, but, it, you know, it's like, it's like pulling yourself away from a loving situation, which is horrible, you know, so it's, it's never fun. Mm -hmm. um, All right, I know you got a four. I'll let you go. Um, let's get another meeting in the book soon. Okay, so we're doing next we're Tuesday. the same at the same time each week. And if we got to change, we'll change. Yep. Okay. And I'll pop this up in the secret plan, man. Sweet. And then uh, I'll come uh, come to your room and steal that map next time in Vancouver. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. And maybe if I can go to the hardware store and I can look at, like, I think two or 300 bucks might be materials. So mm -hmm. um, I can look at making you, yeah, I can make a look at that. Cool. And then just give me a price and I'm happy to give it to you. I trust you. So, um, Okie dokie. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay see you soon uh, I, invited you to the, <laughs> I invited you to the shared doc i started just now where i synthesized all that so okay. between that and the maps and miro i think let's get started for next tuesday okay, okay.